okay dear student uh, we will go through the solution of science assignment what i have got in there any time maybe some missing uh, can have uh, so you didn't get the assignment but i got it in my hand so this is the assignment of science assignment given in them science assignment assignment okay and the assignment say to do some work to do some work i will post personally as a, a subject teacher i will give you uh, this assignment to your group when you will see and check out that the assignment and there is work and the total mark is 10 total mark 10 uh, who will be excellent category 8 to 10 mark is categorized but three step to follow up in them three step to follow up first one uh, they told us uh, to find out four phylum four phylum uh, with their uh, basic characteristics first one that means if the phylum based characteristics and classification of at least four animals are mentioned that means we will choose four animals from different phylum four phylum already we have completed chapter one we will select four animals four animals from different phylum and just we will write the basic characteristics number one then second category they told us to tell here uh, classification of phylum uh, enlisted animal at least four animals with characteristics are classified we will select another four animals that means the four animals least four animals with their characteristics are classified we can make them the classification where they belongs to any vertebrates can also be on there and third one they ask for at least four positive and negative effects are identified at least four positive and negative effects are identified we will find out four positive and negative effect of the selected animal what we will select for okay this is the main concern and basic concern of the assignment now we will go through and they ask here also once again uh, the uh, name of the animal uh, in a list characteristics of the phylum what the characteristics they bear on them uh, the name of the phylum what are the uh, uh, phylum characteristics of the classes what are the characteristics uh, belonging to have uh, in them the characteristics of the classes and uh, positive effect and negative effect we will uh, go through on them specifically so very first time we will select some animals of different phylum at first listen the first answer will be on there i will uh, try to make you understand in short way suppose i uh, select some of the uh, animals belonging to here suppose i uh, select uh, animals belonging in there the first one the answer <coughs> selected selected animals animals whatever we have written in the fish on them or example you can write on them any of the single thing you can write selected example i select the hilcha fish hilcha fish first one selected example according to the uh, question they asking for okay uh, characteristics classification of at least four animals are mentioned okay so look at here oh sorry hi come here detach uh, the dias okay 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 now it is okay so the phylum selected example then phylum we will write phylum chordata chordata so basic characteristics basic characteristics characteristics we will write up some uh, basic characteristics of the hilcha fish 
फ्रेश वाटर फिश फ्रेश वाटर फिश फ्रेश वाटर फिश देन वी कैन राइट देयर स्किन स्किन covered with covered with the uh, three category like uh, we can write cycloid cycloid then uh, ganoid tenoid and ganoid scale ganoid scales that means skin covered with cycloid tenoid and ganoid skill this one and third number some basic characteristics they told us uh, respiration primarily by gills respiration primarily by gills then after it is covered by operculum but basically we uh, write up here three important features in them characteristics they told us to select <coughs> uh, if anyone uh, say that sir uh, can we write the class also they told that if the uh, phylum based characteristics and classification on of at least four animals are mentioned classification means we know about that Uh, the hilsha fish selected example first one we will go through the four example selected one uh, selected animal a number a1 a1 i have written since the four animals we will have to select they told us hilsha fish where the phylum this is the classification phylum classification means someone think that sir can we write the class only chordata have the classes vertebrate chordata Uh, is the sub phylum is the vertebrate and vertebrate have only the seven classes but different phylum any other phylum in your book according to the book uh, have you got any classes no so we will this is a classification we find out the animal silsha fish phylum is the chordata basic characteristics fresh water fish skin covered with cycloid tenoid and ganoid scales respiration primarily by gills done one number animals belonging there second one second example we will go through on them so who are joining in the uh, classes for the fancy shamjida sahib i don't know the name nujjad adas kakon tasnim reza okay next one second example second one we will write up in there second animal example we will go through on them after then now i will select another one another one with having on them i select uh, another one is the uh, from uh, leech another animal by your own choice you can select selected selected animals or examples i have written in same case uh, second one is leech so phylum in which phylum the example belonging in there suppose it is in the given anelida any leader any leader and some characteristics basic characteristics we will write up in there basic characteristics basic characteristics on them specifically so what are the uh, basic characteristics we will write at least three for their their body parts are <coughs> uh their body is uh, tubular and segmented body tubular segmented segmented and then we can write up the second one 
uh, about then body segment that means locomotion locomotion by theta theta but no theta in leech theta in leech then third one we can go through on them about then excretory system nephridia excretory system nephridia nephre nephridia excretory system nephridia i told you in there the second example we collected from here uh, animals second animals we have written in them specifically uh, that is uh, by leech it is belonging to the phylum annelida since it is the classification basic characteristics body is the tubular segmented locomotion by theta but no theta in the leech what i give the uh, get the example from here and uh, excretory system is nephridia that means their excretion done by the nephridia who join and watching write a comment in there i want to see by your name in the facebook live who watch out the class write your name by your father or parents name i cannot identify you okay let's move on the next one second animal their body is tubular type you can ask me sir uh, can I have chance to uh, draw the figure in them it is your way wish it is given in your book but whatever asking in the uh, question we go through on that way specifically you understand number third animals number third because selected animals and there is a list is given in them specifically specifically a list is given in them to fill up uh, record all the information in the following chart record all the information in the following chart that means what the chart you have to draw in a, a record everyone i don't know why you we are going through this way because if i make a chart in there if i make a chart in there uh, that chart finally i will write up and what the features and which way you will write up on them record all the information in the following chart following chart there is a chart given in the assignment all the information what i have written i need to space out to write up something here so i need up uh, to uh, compile this one this way but after then in which way you will record all the information what i will write up in here in a chart i will draw the chart and i will tell you this way you will write that one you understand at first just collect the notes for understanding another another uh, uh, example i will select for there okay third one round worm third one selected animals third one round worm i select that one by your own choice you can select by your own thing also the phylum in the uh, uh, round worm nematoda nematoda the basic characteristics what will you write on them uh, their body is the uh, tubular body tubular tubular are uh, cylindrical cylindrical okay uh, then basic features their digestive system complete digestive system 
complete complete and third one uh, their respiratory and circulatory system absent respiratory respiratory and circulatory circulatory system absent respiratory and circulatory respiratory and circulatory system absent Okay, next one. Listen, another one. I see the uh, mobile here to check out what they are asking for in the next one. Next points. Look at here. Their body is. We find out the roundworm, phylum Nematoda, basic characteristics: body tubular and cylindrical type. Digestive system is complete in here, and respiratory and circulatory system absent. Three feature completed. another one then the last one and final one we will select suppose we can go through by our own choice we can go through on them uh, i select a bird selected animals or bird suppose i select here crow crow so uh, it is also uh, the phylum phylum chordata chordata and basic characteristics of the uh, phylum uh, chordata and there you can write also bas before basic characteristics you can write phylum chordata it has also classes you can write some classification sub phylum sub phylum vertebrata vertebrata and last one is the class class is the what we have uh, apes apes first one you can also write up hilsha fish what i have written on them hilsha fish we have written similar thing the phylum chordata sub phylum vertebrata and class also on them specifically osteichthys osteichthys yes take from here osteichthys right similarly what the classification we find out on them so their uh, characteristics about them their body covered with feather you can write up in them covered with covered with feather covered with feather uh, then uh, normal features warm blooded animals they are warm blooded warm blooded warm blooded and then uh, they have two wings two leg and one beak or you can write in them bones are bones are light delicate light delicate and laced with air cavity that means you can write more of the features but basic features when i will try to make sure here uh, the write up on them specifically this is very important to know about that a chart this time 
this time your assignment are belonging to have in a chart but what why i have written in there because if i make a chart i cannot write up with a spacious area to write up everything in a chart concise place but what will you do in the assignment we have written in case of the last one selected animal crow phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata class apes this is a classification okay you understand about then then body covered with feather warm blooded bones are light delicate and laced with air cavity filled with air cavity we can found on them specifically so this is the all four selected animal their phylum their classification and everything but the assignment say all the information write up in a chart and not only for there the positive effect and negative effect also be selected on there asking so now we will draw original chart what the assignment say of course we will including these features in the chart but in a chart listen now draw the chart on them after then after you have complete of completed of the write up in there then you will go through on them accordingly make a chart in them this is a chart follow up in them we will write up and draw up the chart first one listen here suppose this is the given this is the given in the assignment name of the animal name of the animal animals first part characteristics of phylum characteristics of phylum characteristics of phylum then the phylum characteristics of phylum then the phylum characteristics of class characteristics characteristics of class this is the chart you have to fill up on that one characteristics of class then only the class then positive effect positive effect then negative effect negative effect this is the chart you have to follow after then what we have written on them then the chart we have to follow up on them so name of the animals sir what the what the animals we have uh, selected what the animals we have selected can we uh, maintain that one i just give you a guideline listen i have selected all the animals in different phylum first one i have selected listen once again i try to tell you this one first one i have selected hilsha fish is it yes sir hilsha fish i have written some characteristics then it is the phylum of chordata is it characteristics of the class hilsha fish belonging already i have draw the uh, write some characteristics of the phylum that means chordata phylum phylum chordata listen once again phylum chordata phylum chordata characteristics of that phylum here characteristics of the classes so what the features here and what the features will be in here listen very interesting and important thing this one this is a chart you have to be fi fill up here filled up characteristics of the phylum they told hilsha fish belonging to the phylum 
core data. So, what the features you will uh, write upon them in the uh, core data phylum? Suppose I have written uh, the notochord is the features. Notochord. Suppose NARP cord. NARP cord. That means notochord is the vertebral column you can write upon them. Notochord present. NARP cord present. Their respiration. Respiration. Suppose respiration done by lungs for sometimes by gills, some cases for some cases by gills. All the information recorded in there, core data, phylum core data on them, characteristics of the class, hills of fish. What are the characteristics I have written on them? Each and every characteristics. Clear? Yes, sir. Then, class. What the class I told you here? Ostic thighs. Is it? Yes, Hills of fish. Ostic thighs. Ostic thighs. Ostic thighs. Positive effect of Hills of fish. We can take it. It is our national fish. Is it? Yes, it is a positive effect. Our national fish uh, for food. We can take it as a food. Foods tasty very tasty taste are excellent of the hilsha fish okay the positive effect is uh, breeding in the rivers breeding breeding in the rivers breeding in the rivers earning foreign currency very good earning foreign currency by export import exporting that one foreign currency currency and the negative effect is there any negative effect no, sir. negative effect of ilcha fish you will write not enough or not maximum negative effect but sometime when they will be dead for any reason it can pollute the water dead fish in the river that area can be polluted not much negative effect it will be written here not much negative effect negative effect but in any any reason it can be the natural reason naturally or man-made naturally or man-made man-made reason not much negative effect but in any reason naturally or man-made when the maximum fish died and the dead bodies create water pollution dead bodies create water pollution water pollution that one so how the chart this chart is given in your assignment how the chart you have to complete here hilcha fish characteristics of the phylum what are the phylum characteristics which phylum belonging characteristics of the class that means hilcha fish belonging which class of the chordata and positive effect and the negative effect positive effect natural fish food tasty uh, test maximum test uh, then breeding in the rivers uh, then earning foreign currencies and uh, not much negative effect but in any reason if the natural reason natural calamities or man-made reason uh, the uh, death of the maximum fish when rotten in the uh, water it can ensure the water pollution it is also the negative effect <coughs> Sir, what you select for hilcha fish? Can we select in another one? Yes, I don't tell you copy me here to do everything, but you have to get the concern, idea. By your own choice, you can select on there. I tell, I tell you here, I tell you here, another, suppose, second one, I can uh, uh, take, uh, you can take the cockroach instead of leech in the arthropoda. You can take it on there. I take another animal, but look at here. 
no classes on them specifically uh, uh, the another one leech whatever i have written in the leech if you take any if you take the tiger you can take the tiger tiger same phylum chordata phylum characteristics phylum class uh, uh, in the mammalia on them tiger when you will select class on them positive effect negative effect you can write among them sir can we select all the animals from the chordata yes you can select also because all the chordata if you select then you will have the chance to write up something from the class you understand or not then last one what i have select for second one if you select sir if i select the leech what will happen the feature in there how can i write up on them suppose i i, I take the uh, leech in them leech second animal i select so characteristics of the phylum already i have written written annelida phylum phylum annelida i have written annelida phylum annelida because they told us to select some invertebrate and vertebrate these are the invertebrates leech is a invertebrates no vertebral column in them so sir what is the characteristics of the class we didn't get any characteristics of the class from there we didn't get here but we can have the positive and negative effect also you understand yes, positive and negative effect so what is the positive effect and negative effect of the leech positive effect is to maintain the ecosystem because you know the mosquito snake is also important for our ecosystem yes, sir. someone depend on them for food and someone need to take that one who take the mosquito or snake someone need to take them by food for making a balance food chain food web for maintaining right up on them leech here the second point annelida what i have written in them positive effect of the annelida i i erase erase up in this one uh, something to write up in there some positive effect positive effect is the uh, maintain the chain or sequence of ecosystem the chain or sequence of ecosystem ecosystem and they suck the blood from the animals especially human beings if have chance that means they are known as the blood sucker so this negative effect if you come contact with it they can suck the blood from your body it is a negative effect so they can it can sucks blood from the animal body especially human animal body especially human human look at here so this one i have written the positive effect and negative effect since the leech characteristics of the phylum annelida is the phylum characteristics of the class no no class of the phylum according to our book no characteristics no classes but positive effect and negative effect have on there i have written the chart to completed so what way which way we can use the chart you know about that the third i have i have written in the uh, third one round worm same nematoda characteristics of the phylum nematoda you will write up on them then uh, characteristics of the no classes no classes on them but positive effect and negative effect if it is on there in the field in the soil they increase the fertility but they can during the uh, uh, rainy season during the rainy season they come out from the soil and on the road people are not comfortable walking on there round worm kecho kecho creamy like that here and there people are very discomfort for walking and moving during the rainy season but when they present in the soil they end improve the quality of the soil fertility of the soil this is the this is the uh, positive effect and negative effect 
I cannot tell you that what copy me everything. I tell you to complete the assignment by your own sense. In which way you can do that one. I select another one, crow, the last one, the crow. Phylum of the chordates. We can write some uh, features of the chordates, phylum chordates, characteristics of the classes, apes. Some characteristics of the, we have written on them. Already done. Classes, apes. Positive effect, crow, though look like black. But they are very helpful for uh, collecting the garbage. For collecting. I say this one also. So different garbage, trash, and everything. They clean our environment. So they are known as cleaner of the environment. Okay. So negative effect. People don't like the crow. So the harsh sound of the crow sometimes make people discomfort. During the noon, when you are sleeping at and crow is shouting on their discomfort. This is the negative effect. You can write up everything for the belonging to compile this chart. Which way and what the paper you can use on there. You can use the paper in the big art paper hard paper not the rim paper this the paper is no there rim paper hard paper for draw because this chart will be more bigger when you will write or only one page you can write up no chance this one you can use on there and if anyone is the a4 size paper you may be one for one page another for another page many of page you can use on there and after completion this chart completion this chart you can write up your name at the top or anywhere the assignment title will be at the top then make it after then the follow up the chart and figure on them and uh, what i give you the guideline follow that one and i hope so that you will follow up this one in this way to complete your science assignment you understand yes, sir. i hope so all of you understand